So recently I just posted a video on the socials about unsuccessful attempt to swap out this SSD which I just uh, returned back to original state. It still has to be cleaned up from all the flux residue. Uh, but right now I'm working on bringing back the donor device to its original glory. Um, I have the original controller, I have the original NAND. We're gonna set them back down and make sure that our donor still remains functional. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cleaning here. So right now what I want to do is uh, I want to confirm compatibility of these uh, controllers. So whether or not they're um, okay to swap or not. Uh, we have two controllers, same part numbers on the top and uh, both coming off from exact same SSDs. Both of these SSDs look like this. So I have this memory chip, okay? Uh, that's been removed from uh, this board's controller. From this controller's board, sorry. So what I want to do is I want to reball this chip and pair it up with this memory. If it works, that means controllers for these types of devices are swappable. But if they don't work, that means they're just uh, not meant for each other and uh, there's really nothing to look forward to if the controller is dead. The reason why I want to make sure I do come to that conclusion is because this SSD that I was working on uh, for a few days is still nowhere close to functional state than it was when it arrived. Because it was already worked on by somebody else, I my guess is that uh, this controller was brought so close to the ground uh, that something got short and it burnt out. If it's burnt on the inside and it doesn't work, well, and if it's unique, then uh, the data is gone with it. But if this swap right now works, okay, between this controller and a memory chip of a different SSD, then we still have um, hope that maybe uh, we can get a better suited SSD for this device and uh, use that as a donor because if our controller is dead the controller is dead there's nothing we can do about it so you're telling me there's a chance this ssd that i removed this chip from uses glue like material on corners of the chip i guess to uh, stabilize it and give it more strength to hold on to uh, we need to remove that first to do that i'll add flux and um, the best tip for this would be the knife's edge, but I don't have one right now on, on this iron. And I don't feel like swapping the irons out just to switch that tip. I need to order some of those.
One hour later. And this is how you would know whether this is gonna work or not gonna work. Don't expect somebody to just tell you this. I mean, on my channel I do share some of the secrets, but most of the time you will have to do this on your own to find out whether it's, it's gonna work or not. Because... Um, compatibility information and stuff like that, what works, what doesn't work if you swap it, isn't written in like some sort of uh, data recovery guidebook. It's best to have it all scraped, scraped off at this point than having to uh, reboot it and find out that there is a problem later. here the controller is already cleaned and uh, prepared All right, let's reball the uh, memory first Now this one is a bit more tricky because I don't have an exact size stencil for it, but I do have something that is really close.
All right, so first uh, we're gonna mount the controller only um, because we wanna make sure that the safe mode turns on. And then if it mounts, uh, we can work with the can with the memory chip. Right, so plug it into PC3000. Power up. And as you can see, we get the PHY light come up. Alt-P to refresh the passport. And we get Sandus Kermis once again. So the controller is mounted and it's doing what it needs to do. So power down. Disconnect. And now let's test uh, the memory for compatibility. So the SSD on the right belongs to the, my client, the SSD on the left is mine. The difference between them is that this SSD is 512 gigs and this SSD is 128 gigs. So definitely different capacity on chips, but the controllers are the same. There is a little bit of a difference in terms of how regulatory resistors are set up. We have a couple of missing here, one missing in there. Uh, all of these are present. When I did the swap, I did change all of that in exact same scenario. So that's not an issue. The fact that those two are smooshed together, that's fine. They sitting on the same uh, plane, on the same rail. So if this unit starts up right now, my next step would be to look for an identical device in 512 gigabyte capacity so that the boards are absolutely the same. I'm 100% confident that these boards are the same right now, even though they're not the same length, but um, mechanically and electrically, they are routed exactly the same. So right now it's cool enough to plug it in and test out. We'll just PC3000, power on, F11. We get PHY light, and I was getting PHY light when I did the swap of my client's drives NAND onto uh, that donor board. But when I go Alt-P, 
You see, we only get SanDisk Hermes. We do not get an actual ID of the device. So that's what makes me think that the relationship between the memory chip and the controller is an absolutely unique relationship. There is no substitute for it. So even though the board that the controller is coming off of is right here, I bought them in the same batch. This one and the donor that's plugged in right now, they're from the exact same batch, exact same size. So, and they could not be any closer and they're not compatible. If we use this controller right now, the original controller to that donor board that's plugged in, that board will fire up and give us an ID. So I'm going to do that at some point later. It's not a, uh, it's not a critical step right now, especially now that it's confirmed that these boards cannot be used as donors. That's my story on SanDisk 20 82 -007010 controller, not compatible for the swap, completely unique to its own man NAND. And, uh, if the controller is dead, the data is gone, which sadly for our client is the case here. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next one.